we'd like you to take a moment and watch this video that will show you the history of art as it unfolds. While Pam is removing the roof, this is the face of a building that housed Art of the Century Gallery that was owned by Peggy Guggenheim. It was on 30 West 57th Street in New York. And you'll see, as Pam is now lowering the surrealist side of the gallery, a view of view. Now, the art in this gallery was art that Peggy brought back to her from Europe when the Germans invaded France. Peggy had been in Paris since 1920s. After her father drowned on the Titanic, she inherited a large amount of money and didn't want to be a New York socialite, so went to Paris, became Bohemian, and started collecting the artists of the day. These were famous surrealist artists, and starting from the right, you will see a piece by Georgie Scirocco, and above that, Salvador Dali, and the piece next to that is by Max Ernst, who would go on to become Peggy's third husband. More about that later. The sculpture is by Giacometti. The beautiful black piece is by John Moreau. The other piece on the opposing wall is another Max Ernst piece. And the three globe-like pieces in the back are by René Magritte. The furniture in the gallery was designed by the architect who, who built the gallery. His, his name was Kiesler, Kiesler, Frederick Kiesler. Now this is the surrealist side of the gallery. When Peggy got to New York and opened the gallery, she also started supporting local New York talent. Now I'll start with it. Pam is uh, showing us now the abstract side of the gallery. And this is just as a gallery would have looked had you been fortunate enough to enter early in 1943. The gallery actually opened in 1942, in, the, in December of 42, and Pam built this amazing diorama to, set to commemorate the 70th anniversary of art of this century. If you look from left to right at the art in the gallery, the screened piece that you see on the left is Lawrence Vale, and Lawrence Vale was Peggy's first husband, and Vale did shows, did, did objects of art primarily, and the first show that Art of the Century opened with was, was a, a show on objects of art that included works by Duchamp and Vail and Joseph Cornell. And Pam said, well, what better way could I commemorate the opening of the gallery than to do an object about the gallery? So if we look just behind the, the screen is a, is, a, is a painting by Clifford Still. And Clifford Still was one of the 16 New York abstraction expressionists that, are, that have became hugely famous. That's a, a Kandinsky painting, a Vasily Kandinsky painting. There's three paintings on a the stand there. There's two paintings. One is by William Bazitos. The other is a shadow box by Joseph Cornell, who made that art form famous. The piece directly in front of the camera is Jackson Pollock, a stenographic figure. That was the first piece that Pollock showed anywhere in the world. It was 10 years before he started doing drip paintings that made him famous. On the right is a Robert Motherwell piece. Robert Motherwell was 20 years old at the time that the gallery opened. He was the youngest artist by far that Art of the Century showed. The sculpture is by Henry Lorenz, which owns the distinction of being the only piece to go missing from the entire collection. The big right painting, the painting on the right hand side, is Archley Gorky's, and below that is a sculpture by Bancusi called Bird on a Wire. The painting in the foreground on the, on the tripod is by Paul Clay. The oval type piece is by Kandinsky. And there's a piece behind it that you, that's not visible at this point, which, which is which, uh, by Malevich, a Russian painter. So this is the abstract side of the gallery. So this is the amazing Art of the Century Gallery. Today the whole collection resides at the Guggenheim Museum in Venice. Peggy died in 1979 and left the collection to the Guggenheim Museum.